In this lecture, I am going to create a fresh Laravel project for the authentication system and I will create the database and database tables for the auth system. I will also design the basic layout and home page in this lecture. First of all, let's create new project. I will create the project inside tutorial folder. And to create a new Laravel project via Composer, you need to run this command. My project name is auth system. It will take some time to download the dependencies. The project successfully installed. Now let's go to the project root and let's open the project in the code editor. And now let's create a database for the project. And then put the database credentials in .env file database name is auth system and username is root and password is blank and now let's create the database tables for auth system laravel by default provide us migrations for users table and password reset table i will not use these migrations i will create our own migrations for password reset table now let's open the users table migration I will add this this columns to users table. And now I will create the model and magazines for password reset table. And to create my uh, migrations file along with model you need to pass minus same flag. You can see model and magazine successfully created. I will add these two lines to password reset tables. There will be user ID and reset code in password reset table. Now let's run the magazines. If I refresh my database, you can see users table and password reset table successfully created. Now let's create a layout file for the project. This will be our parent layout for all the views. Let's create a folder called layout and inside layout, I will create a file main layout. I will use bootstrap for designs so let's go to gitbootstrap.com in examples you will find lots of basic template here I will use this template so control you for the source code and copy all the codes from here and put that inside your main.layout.deleted.php file and I will remove all these stuffs from here and I will also remove this and I will add this lines of code to my layout file and let's remove all these codes from the head tag let's give the title to auth system And now let's include the JS and CSS file for Bootstrap and jQuery. I will grab the CSS and JS libraries from w3schools.com. Let's copy all this stuff from here and let's include inside your head tag.
and now let's create a file sorry let's create a route for our home page so let's go to web.php file route get sorry first of all let's get a controller for our home page okay php addition make controller home controller and after that let's create a route for the home page it will execute home controller and home method I did not create the home method inside home controller I will create later now let's give a name to this route and now let's go to home controller and let's create a method called home here and from this method I will return a view I did not create the view yet for home page let's create the home page view let's go to resource views and I will create a new view page called home.blade.php and it will extend our main layout so we need to extend the main layout here which is under layout folder and we need to add a section what is the section name if I open main.layout file you can see section name is body so then end the section here and inside the section I will put some code for the home page and now let's return the view from the controller return view oh. now let's run our project for that Let's go to localhost slash tutorial, then auth system, then public. You can see our home page is complete. Now let's create a JS file and CSS file for our project. I'll create the JS file inside public folder and inside JS folder. I will create a auth.js file and I will create a CSS file inside CSS folder. Style.css. Now let's include this JS file and CSS file inside our main layout. Let's include the CSS file first. Which is under which is under public folder and CSS slash style dot CSS and then let's include the JS file at the bottom okay now let's add some CSS to the CSS file let's grab this CSS you do not need to worry about the code you will get full source code from this URL I already uploaded this code to my github 
so let's put some CSS inside styler CSS file and let's open emulate main dot layout break and put some nav nav sorry put some nav tab here basically in our case that will be home login and then there will be profile now I will refresh the page you can see home login and profile it will be profile and after that I will add a class for the nav tab top nav I already added some CSS for the top nav and I will add a active class to the home nav home button sorry now if I refresh the page you can see home link is active okay because we are now in the home page and later I will add this active class dynamically now let's add some code for the models okay on clicking on this um, login button I will open the login model and for clicking on this register button I will open the register model first of all let's get to view page inside partial folder and inside partial let's create another folder called models and inside models folder let's create login dot blade dot php and another is register dot blade dot php now let's put some code for the models for register model let's paste that code here and for login model I'll push I'll put this code now let's include these two models in home page include partials then models then login and for register model I need to write partials models then register now let's open this models on clicking on the button so let's open other js file and let's put this code here what is happening here actually when we are clicking login login button we are hiding the register model and we are showing the login model and same as for register button when we are clicking the register button we are adding the login button and showing the register model okay now let's check you can see login form and register form okay later when we will work on this we will add some login form here and register form here okay uh, for now this is great in the next lecture i will uh, design the registration page so stay connected